All right, Coach, enter the third in the uh, same spot, but a much different result. Thoughts on tonight? <clears throat> well, I thought um, I thought our game in the third was uh, about as good as it's been in, in a long time. I uh, thought we started off the game uh, well again. Um, you know, we still made a couple of mistakes there in the middle there, um, especially in the second. Uh, but I thought our guys responded well in the third, and it's a good step forward. Now we got to get better this week and uh, get ready for our next opponent. Coach, you've talked uh, a lot about executing, just the need to, to execute. <clears throat> that the guys are there; they're 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 making uh, some of the initial plays, but just need to execute to finish. Um, can you talk about trying to carry over the finishing ability that that you really showed in the third period today? Well, I think anytime you come up with a third where you win a game like that, um, hopefully it gives you confidence in, in making plays throughout the week in practice and you feel good about your game and um, and then it carries over into uh, into the games next weekend. Um, when you're pressing a little bit and you're, you've kind of been down a little bit, it you know, guys are, I don't want to say afraid, but a little hesitant to make plays that might be there. and. I thought tonight in the third period, anyway, we you know we scored in a two-on-one. We made a good play on the breakout. Um, great play by Laval and, and Kiefer Sherwood to hit Greenberg on the back door. Those are all plays that um, sometimes are there, and you got to look for them. And uh, recently, they've been there, but we haven't tried them for whatever reason. And uh, uh, hopefully, that gives us confidence going forward. Before tonight, the, the team across the ice, RPI, I think they were 10-2-1. Um, coming into tonight's game over their, their last few games and uh, really were riding a, a hot streak. Had a goaltender back there, Jason Kasdorf, that was playing quite well. And Bourbonnet is a really talented player. You're able to keep him off the score chart, have him at a minus one. Um, you talk about the uh, sort of the confidence builder in beating a, a solid team like that. Well, we knew that they're a top team in the country and, and we had to do a, uh, you know, we, we had to play well defensively. Um, we had to manage the puck well, and I thought tonight at times we didn't do that, and they capitalized. Uh, but once the third period started, and we started to get a little bit of momentum, and we, we got all lines going in the, in the right direction, in the same direction, going north. Um, we felt like we were starting to get the momentum, and when you're when you're playing with that momentum, uh, it's tough to play against. Uh, I don't care who you are. Um, guys feel good about themselves. They, they're coming above the puck. They're in good spots. Their sticks are good. Our energy was good. Our shift times were good. Um, and we can do that, but everybody's got to be on the same page. There's no, there's no secret to playing well. You have to be ready to go and focused. And executing a little bit also on defense, it seemed like uh, able to clear the puck out in front of the goal and not allow any second chance opportunities. Seems like the defenseman did a good job. You mentioned a couple of mistakes that you said you'd like to clean up, but uh, overall, I think did a good job. Uh, what do you think about the effort that the guys with the Blue Liners gave? Yeah, I mean, even in the first period, we gave up three, you know, three chances, and one went in the back of our net. In the second period, it was a shorthanded goal. So you eliminate those uh, critical errors and all of a sudden you're, you're in the game and, and you're feeling good about yourself because we did have some good chances. Um, you know, we sustained some pressure, um, but we have to execute those plays. Those plays are there to be made and we have to make strong plays when we have the opportunity to make them. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Justin, I know you scored the uh, ultimately game-winning goal, but seemed a pretty determined effort uh, from all four lines and all three defense pairings to start the third period. Uh, and this take us through tonight, especially those last 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think I we've been in uh, a lot of games that are one goal, either we're up a goal or down a goal that we've kind of let go these past couple months while we've been in this rut. So we're all pretty determined that we weren't going to let this one uh, get away from us. Can you walk us through the uh, the, the goal of the, the game winner? 8.20 to go, you're racing up the ice, and you get that, that feed just to be able to finish that off. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have to do too much on it. Uh, Zach Laval and Kiefer did most of it, so I was just lucky that Kiefer was able to find my stick and just kind of hit my stick and went in. Seemed like uh, over the course of, of the the winless streak that uh, that some of those plays maybe that puck jumps your stick or uh, or or something like that, um, where there were a number of opportunities, but finishing seemed to be uh, uh, something that was hard to come by uh, tonight particularly in the third period, you were able to do that. What, what really led to that? Uh, I think a lot of it's just uh, our process. Like Coach talks about if like the process isn't good, that you aren't going to get the bounces. 
So we've had lapses in these past couple games, and I think due to those lapses, just wasn't on our side. We weren't getting the bounces. And the third period tonight, uh, well, actually much of the game, but really the third period, it seemed to, uh, you guys seemed to really do a good job on both ends of the ice, uh, offense and defense, and, and forwards going back and helping out, able to clear the puck out in front, not allow any second chance opportunities. Was that a, a definitive effort to do that? I mean, I think we try to do that every night, but I think tonight we just executed and our compete level was pretty high. And uh, carrying over to next weekend, how do you keep that compete level so high? I mean, I think we maybe have to ramp it up a notch, just going against a tough opponent like Duluth, especially being in our league. I mean, they're one of the top teams every year, so we're, they're going to bring it, so we're going to have to bring it too. Okay. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, thanks, guys.